Hey guys, so we're looking today at a perpendicular bisector. So if we remember the words perpendicular, it means that it creates a right angle when it touches one side of the triangle. But the word bisector also means that not only does it do, do that, but it also cuts that side in half. So this right here in pink is a perpendicular bisector because it cuts it in half creating two equal segments, and it's perpendicular because it creates a right angle. Now, one thing we also know about perpendicular bisectors is that if it is cutting an isosceles triangle in half, um, if it does actually cut it in half, and you can see it goes through the vertex, if it goes through the vertex specifically, then we know that we have an isosceles triangle where the two sides are equal. Because if you recall, with a perpendicular bisector, it doesn't always go through the vertex. I could, here's a midpoint on an example triangle where these two sides, these segments are equal because that is a midpoint. And if I draw the perpendicular bisector creating a right angle, notice it doesn't go through the vertex. This vertex right here, it doesn't go through it. So this is not an isosceles triangle, but the one we're looking through actually does go through the vertex right here, meaning that this is an isosceles triangle. So notice I've marked those two sides equal, so now all I have to do is actually set them equal. 13x minus 48 equals 7x plus 24. So we just need to solve that for x. Start off by subtracting 7x from both sides. So we have 24 on the right. 13 minus 7 is 6x. We're going to add 48. To both sides. To get rid of a minus, you add. So 6x equals 72 and divide by 6 and we get that x is 12. So keep in mind guys, when you have a perpendicular bisector, it's not always going to give you a perfect isosceles triangle where two of the sides are equal like it did in this one. Okay. The only reason it did is because it went through the vertex. You can see an example over here of a triangle where the perpendicular bisector did not go to the vertex, go through the vertex. Therefore, that triangle was not isosceles, and we would not have set those two sides equal like we did in this problem. Thanks, guys.